Hey, Edition Days fans, we're turning the spotlight on to Days of Our Lives' very own Miss Victoria Cunifal, who plays Sierra Brady. And trust me, we are about to get all the dish from her. Mm -hmm. Coming up next. You're tuning into the destination for TV super fan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. <laughs> Welcome to Spotlight On. We are joined by our very special guest. We are very happy to have her in our studio. It is the very beautiful and talented Miss Victoria Cunifal. We're so happy you're here. Thank you. Giving us the only high pony today, which I thoroughly appreciate. Love a high pony. And I am joined by my other gaggle of gals. We have to my far, 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 far left. Michael Mattis. And of Hi. course. Hi. And of course. <laughs> Tammy Gavea. Who remembers our username. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> all right, so before we get into all things Victoria, Victoria, we're going to take it back a little bit. Okay. Let's take it to the vault. In Ooh. this very first picture that I pulled from the lovely internet, Thank you, Internet. Mm -hmm. We have this little oh, photo wow. from you in high school yes. in a production of A Flea in Her Ear. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this. Well, that's my best friend in real life, so oh. it was oh. really, really fun. Yeah, it was fun um, being in this production because we were lovers and we were owners of this motel, um, mm -hmm. A Flea in Her Ear. And, like, it's just such a satirical, like, comedy. It, like, crazy things happen. Um, yeah. People are getting, like thrown off the balcony and like mm -hmm. but in the funniest way possible yeah. not in a dramatic like soap opera way you know um but it was really really fun filming so is, is this in high school is this when the acting bug kind of bit you and you were like oh, i i think i did it no actually um this high school the high school that i went to um was called laguardia and it is a performing arts high school mm -hmm. so I already had gone into school knowing that I wanted to be an actor. Right. I started acting when I was like seven. Um, in well, an you off started young. Yeah, really young. I started mm -hmm. in an off-Broadway production center called um, Brooklyn Heights Players. Mm -hmm. Oh, so by seven, y'all, she was already booked. Yeah, I was already, <laughs> was already ready for it. Booked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Um, well, let's go to the next picture, which we all know you are very lovely and beautiful, oh. but I had not, I didn't know that you were Miss... Polonia. Polonia, yes. Got it. Got it. 2015. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so I found this and I was like, duh, of course she had to be a part of the pageant <laughs> system. And duh, of course she won. So how was this experience for you? It was really fun. It was um, mostly like I wasn't really passionate about the pageant industry. Like uh -huh. it wasn't like, yeah, I want to be Miss Universe. It was kind of yeah. something that I didn't even know that I was um being partaking in the pageant. My mom called me and she was like, Hey, I signed you up and they accepted you. <laughs> don't, you like, don't you love when moms yes. do that? You just By get a phone way. call like, Hey, you're doing it. And you're like, What? Yeah, I'm okay, like, when did, sure. when did I say I was doing it? But right. okay, <laughs> I am. And uh, I took it really lightheartedly. Like, I didn't expect to win. I didn't expect to even place in the top three. Like, these girls flew in from all over America. Um, the pageant happened to be in New York, so I didn't have to travel far. But. Yeah. It, you know, girls flew in from California and Arizona, and like, I just, I, I won. I, they called my name, and I was like, wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> like, really? Okay. Um, yeah, it was, it was really great. My favorite part about it was getting closer to my Polish roots, and like, yeah. I got you know, to participate in Polish charities, and I got to go to the um, Polish Veterans Ball and mm. learn about my culture and be connected with my culture in America. And that's yeah. that's the most that I took from that experience. That's fantastic. Nice. Yeah. And I know that like girls who do pageants and win pageants, like it changes their lives for like that year that yeah. that they're doing this. What was the most memorable thing that you did during that that year? I got, um, I got to be in a parade on a float. I had my very own float. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I had I mean, a that's every crown. girl's, every girl's fantasy. Uh, yeah. To have I, get to wave. I was doing that. I was yes. waving to all the little yes. Polish girls in mm. the in the streets of Manhattan, and they were all blowing Aww. kisses at me, and I was like, oh. <laughs> and they were like, oh my god, the princess just blew me a kiss. They were calling me the Polish princess. I was like, oh my goodness, oh, this wow. is this is such a great experience. What a great memory. Yeah, right. That's See, amazing. I always wish they had pageants for guys. I know I would be Mr. Something. <laughs> you would be. You'd be yeah. Mr. Something. Yeah. 
<laughs> you ever you ever catch the shade? Shady Sundays. <laughs> She, she's Especially getting, today, man. She's, you getting, too. She, she's getting me back for that for that username. Well, we're, <laughs> we're not done with the vault just yet because, mm-hmm. again, thanks to the interwebs, we found your first <laughs> TV booking yes. as a guest star on Modern Family. Check out this clip. I, I was watching this clip. What I love is, like, your facial expressions. Yeah. Like, they kept just being like, bitch, please. Like, yeah. I don't have time <laughs> for any of this right now. Like, this is too much, yeah. whatever. Like, I love that. How was it for you? Like, this is like your your first TV role that yeah. you book. It's on such a popular yeah. show. Mm-hmm. Like, what was that like, like booking the job and being on set? I mean, it was surreal. Um, being on set was a lot less intimidating than I thought it was going to be because, you know, it was a big studio production. I didn't. I just, I was a little nervous. It was yeah, my first course. time. Right, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. from a theater background. So yeah. it's a completely different animal. Yeah. It, completely different. And everyone was so welcoming, so sweet. Um, it was, Sarah Highland is really funny. Mm-hmm. I was really hoping that I would get to meet Sofia Vergara because yeah. I love her. And I, she's like the Latin version of my mother. Uh. <laughs> so you can, imagine, yeah, you can imagine who my mother is. So I, I really, really wanted to meet her. Um, but we weren't in any scenes together. So oh. unfortunately, I I didn't get to meet her. Sophia but. Vergara, if you are so happen to be watching this, <laughs> yes. I love her, you. Please her look up Victoria and make this meeting happen. And I'll be there so that I can meet Joe. <laughs> I was going to say, wait, we'll entertain those. So <laughs> well, that's amazing. Well, congratulations on that. And that's kind of, that kind of started like everything for you. Yeah, it was, it was the first like IMDB credit that yeah. made people go, oh, you know, and that, yeah. that matters in this industry and it's yeah. something that, uh, you know, I need to pay attention to and it was mm-hmm. just, it was an all-around blessing. Oh, nice. Now let's talk about days. Mm-hmm. Days, days of our life. So <laughs> one, one question that I always like to ask um, because we always find out that a lot of the actors who finally booked a role on Days, mm-hmm. they actually auditioned for other roles before they finally booked the role that we know them for now. Mm-hmm. Did, was this your first time like going in for an audition for Days for the role of Sierra? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And actually, um, in the audition room, they didn't call her Sierra. They gave right. her a completely different name. Everything right. was like so tip top. You know, secret, secret. Yeah. Yeah. Secret, yeah. secret, yeah, secrets, so. which is good because yeah. Then yeah. you don't have the pressure of exactly that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. We didn't even read scenes from the script they were fabricated specifically for the audition mm-hmm. um and i mean it was i i i had auditioned for bold and the beautiful before i've auditioned for other soaps but mm-hmm. i haven't gotten it but yeah no this was i was this was it this was it sierra and did you did you have a screen test with with anyone i did i had two screen tests actually which okay. isn't typical you're supposed to get one and then you find out within the next week if you get it um and i found out within the next week that I had to test again. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it added an extra, like I know it's like. Did you test with the same same actors or did you test with different um, actors? The first time I tested with Lucas and Olivia and the second time I tested with all of them and Christian. Okay. Right. Um, or maybe it was the other way around. Yeah, no, I, I tested with Christian first, first. and then mm-hmm. just, the, just okay. the kids. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the whole audition process took about two months. Um, wow. It was, yeah. I, I went you got to practice just letting it go. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's you can't exactly think what about I had it. to do. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you hold on to it, it's like those two months are going to be crazy. Yeah. You're just going to overwhelm yourself with the thought of like, am I going to get it? So it's like I go in, I audition, and I let it go, and I go on with the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. And they just they kept calling me back. And mm-hmm. I every time they called me back, my hopes got up a little more because I was a little closer <laughs> hopes, to it. Yeah. You see what she did? Oh, yeah. hopes, oh, hopes, oh, hopes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, once I finally got it, it was like the big it was I wasn't expecting it at all at that point because it was yeah. the second test how much now. um how much time was there between when you knew you had it and you start they started sending you scripts was it like immediate or was there a little bit of did you have time to like kind of process. mentally process and mentally prepare or was it just like here you go I had like three weeks oh, okay yeah okay. they gave That's me good. some time to I've always to wondered adjust. if it's like they they call you and tell you you have it and here's your first like five episodes yeah no, because you need to have time to quit your job. You need yeah, to put in your two weeks, right. and that's what I did as soon as what I found you, out. What were you doing? Before? I was waitressing. Oh, okay. Where, yeah. Oh, can you say where? Kahuna Tiki. It's in North Hollywood, actually. It's oh. on... Um, 
Is it on uh, Lancashire? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know it. It's like right across from the Ha Ha Club. Yeah. Oh. Kinda, yeah, by yeah. Republic of Pie. And yeah. I, hope they, I hope they have your picture up there now. I, I, they might have my auto. I autographed a menu. Did you? Oh, no, that's did. cute. I did, yeah. <laughs> listen, now you go back in and go, listen. I'm big, so here's that headshot. Free my ties, please. I go there all the time. I Do love really? their sushi. Yeah, I'm a big sushi fan, and they oh, have great sushi. They oh. need to give you a, a big old discount. <laughs> no, so okay. I have a, I have a question for you. So you go from theater and then um, to one bit of TV. Prime time, yeah. But nothing can prepare you for soap. No, nothing, nothing can prepare you. I would. Mm -hmm. I always say that if you can, if you can do a soap, you can do anything. Yeah. It's like boot camp. Yeah. That's exactly it's what like I say. Camp. That's yeah. literally it's 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 acting boot camp. I am used to getting, like when we film movies, it's four to five takes. Sometimes mm -hmm. we get six. The director gets worried if we're gonna film above fourteen pages a day. Like, are we gonna mm -hmm. are we gonna make it? And then on soaps, it's like we film 112 yeah. pages a day. We film three episodes a day. Mm -hmm. We get, we're really busy. Mm -hmm. And it's when I first came on, they were nice enough to give me one episode a week or two episodes a week mm -hmm. just to like slow. Oh, so they eased you in. Yeah. 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 They didn't yeah. just bombard you like you're doing 10 episodes this week or anything like that. Yeah. yeah. That's good. But like, I remember a week before I started filming, it kind of hit me. Like, mm -hmm. I, it hadn't hit me until then, but I was like, wait. I'm gonna have to memorize all of this stuff <laughs> yeah. all the time. Like, yeah. what am I doing? What did I get myself into? Am I gonna I've, be able to do it? I've heard um, actors from the show say it's like it's you have to hone your your short term memory. Like, you have a lot that you have to hold in for a short amount of time, and then, and then when it, when you're done with it, you just have to toss it yeah. and make room. And so, is yeah. that what you kind of did? Or? I mean, my process is a little different. It's always I I always like to memorize the day before because or like two mm -hmm. days in advance because mm -hmm. it's freshest Fresh, yeah. and it. I don't know, like that's just my technique and my method when I act, but... Um, do you prefer to have like the multiple tries or do you prefer maybe just to like do it all at once and get it over with? You know, I like having multiple takes because it allows you to play around yeah. with Experiment the delivery. Yeah. It's not more, it's like with the soaps it seems more about like efficiency mm -hmm. than actually like artistry, I guess maybe the word is. Or I mean, I guess you could say that. It's... It's just because we have so, so much. much. We and have so an episode that airs every single day. Mm -hmm. And no other TV show, mm -hmm. you know, no. th does that. So it's like we... And and if there is something that's delivered and, and the actress or the actor doesn't love it, then mm -hmm. we can say, hey, can I get another take? I'd like to try again. And yeah. usually the director's like, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they, they are forgiving with that, but it's like, it's, it's very fast-paced yeah. usually. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and, and usually, yeah, I do throw things away. Like, as soon as I film, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, yeah. on to the next, on to the next yeah. episode, because I don't have yeah. enough room in there for exactly. everything. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, Kenneth Clark in our chat room wants to know, how is it working with Christian Alfonso? You guys are so great as mom and daughter. Oh, thank you. Um, it's amazing working with her. She is this, like, force on set. Like, she... I, I just look at her and I'm amazed sometimes because it's like she's doing her thing, she's working, she knows exactly what she wants, how she wants it. Um, and she's I, a pro. It's, you know, such it's like a, pro. a seamless, it's like a, this machine, a well-oiled machine. Yeah. After all these years, like yeah. she just taps into it immediately. Yeah, yeah, she's, yeah, she's great. And I learned so much just like by observing her and just by watching her. I don't even mm. have to learn by speaking to her. I just look at her and I... I take, I absorb so much. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, before coming on to the show, had you ever watched Days or had family members that watched the show before? Mm -hmm. Oh, um, boy. <laughs> I, well, I used to watch Days when I was younger with my mom because when my mom first moved to America from Poland when mm -hmm. she was 19, she didn't know a lick of English, and she watched Days the of soaps. Our Lives. Yeah. Every, but not not soaps, Days of Just Our days. Lives. Just specifically. Just, days, Just specifically days. Specifically Days. Yeah. Every day for years until she learned the language, and wow. my mom's favorite characters were Hope and Bo Brady. Oh, oh no. What a full She had to be mom. thrilled. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. So I call my mom, and I tell her, <laughs> and I'm like, hey, Mom, I booked a role on Days of Our Lives, and she's like, ah! screaming she's at work her co-worker picks up the phone because she dropped it on the floor and she's like hold on your mom's freaking out give her a second and then I'm like okay but put her back on like I'm not done talking to her. Yeah. so she has her little freak out and then I'm like okay mom mom Bo and Hope are my parents yeah. on the show and she oh ah, like it's even worse and she's like oh no oh my god She's like crying and she has this like thick Polish accent and she's mm -hmm. like, oh my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true, mom. Like, I suddenly picture Sofia Vergara with yeah, that accent. Right, right, that's <laughs> to, right. To imagine your mom. Yeah. 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 Has, has she been to set? 
she has. I brought her to set once, and yeah. she met Christian, and oh. she met Deidre, and she, like, oh. when she met Deidre, <laughs> <laughs> she saw her in the hallway, and I, sh- I swear, I'm not exaggerating, went, so you're Deidre, my yeah. mom, this is my, I'm my mom. She went, <laughs> <laughs> that's my mom. That's what my mom did. That sound came out of her mouth. I was like, Mom. It's almost like she didn't know what to say. Right. She's like, Oh. <laughs> so in like translation, it's you. It's, it's you. It's <laughs> universal language. Too. Right. <laughs> exactly. That's what happened. Oh she, my god. But, but then, she like, was so happy. you have to think if if she was learning English by watching Days, just what she like learned. <laughs> she sound like baby switching <laughs> i know death <laughs> i wonder Demonic if she came possession. over like yeah Demonic it's like possession. it's like is this what they do in america do they bring people back to life do they mm, i may need to go back to poland <laughs> just the things you learn by watching it. yeah it's like this is too much like this is not what i signed up for like going to sleep thinking like is stefano gonna come in here and kidnap me? i know exactly you know make, make her his lady of the evening right <laughs> right lady oh of the god. night oh my yeah god. that is so- <laughs> that is that is such oh, a hilarious. wonderful like full circle moment Queen to Queen like yeah. to have her watch the show because you know she was trying to learn English and then her favorite characters were Bone Hope and right. then here you are. It was meant to be. It yeah. really was. Mm-hmm. It was fate mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, that she must is be so, so cool. proud. Yeah. I mean, and just to be able to be in that position to be able to give that moment to your mom. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what. That, yeah. I mean, that's what. I want to do the most um, is just to make her proud because she's done so much for me in my entire life. She's just done nothing but support me and what I want to do. And it's like I can, I can never repay her except for with like, like pride. Like I can yeah. give her pride and I can, I can make her, you know, not worry that her little girl is like gonna if if she's gonna do well in America. Mm-hmm. You know, like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Like I. I've got it under control. You got you this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got this. And I'm and, really happy. And we we remember when um, you first came on to the show. Well, we actually met you mm-hmm. briefly mm-hmm. at uh, Day, Day of Days, Days. Yes. Um, when they introduced your character. Yes. And um, we, I think we were all thinking like, oh, wow, she's stunning. Oh, mm-hmm. thank Very you. Very beautiful. Thank you. And then we were anxious to see you on, on, um, on screen for the first time. And when you rode in on that motorcycle, yeah, and it was like cool. the entrance was like, and the whole helmet perfect. and yeah. the yeah. hair, and I was like, oh, okay, uh-huh. okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she's Case got closed. it. Yeah, how how was it for you to to watch? First of all, you had to keep it a secret for like six months. Yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah. then to finally have your air date and finally watch watch the show. Did you watch it with your mom? I didn't because I was filming over here when it aired. When it aired. Um, when I do go <clears throat> home, we watch it together because yeah. she has all the episodes recorded. <laughs> of course. Taking up all the space <laughs> on the DVR. <laughs> well, love, what, love. what was it like for you to finally like see yourself in this character and, and on the show? Is it hard for you to watch yourself? You know, in the beginning it was because... You want to. You always want to be so critical of yourself. Yeah, of course. Like we're our own worst enemy. So it's yeah. like I'm watching myself, and I'm like, "What's my eyebrow doing?" Right. What? Yeah. What? See, that's what why I, d- I don't watch our stuff, just because <laughs> I'm going to be so critical, and then next time I'm going to be in my head about it. Yeah. So oh. I just try to, you know. Well, then I must be like full of myself because I watch the playback, and I'm like, <laughs> I am loving I am me. Beautiful. <laughs> mm. But um, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I do. It, it's. It's become easier to watch myself, mainly mm-hmm. because now I use it as kind of like a learning tool. Right. Like, I'll watch myself yeah. and I'll be like, okay, what can we work on next time? Mm-hmm. Or, hmm, I didn't really deliver that as truth- truthfully as I wanted it right. to come across. How can mm-hmm. I improve on that next time? Um, so that's mainly why I watch my stuff now. You know, mm-hmm. Le, uh, Lamone Archie, who plays Eli, yeah. said that he does the same thing. He'll yeah. he'll watch himself so that he can continue to get better and better and better. Yeah. And I think that's always important because... Sometimes what we imagine what we're looking like yeah. Isn't doesn't like completely? translate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I've had that happen a few times <laughs> <laughs> where I thought like because I have a very expressive face. You guys know, mm-hmm. and sometimes I think <laughs> my thought isn't on my face, but it actually it is. is. And I'm like, ooh, mm-hmm. I'm like, ooh, I need to uh, come over this way. Mm-hmm. Come on over here. Um, sometimes I'm like, oh, I should probably. Be a little more careful with me that. it's my yeah. voice i think i sound totally different than i actually do yeah. and i hear my voice back and if i'm speaking like really i like sound like a, i'm like i'm scared of the person i'm listening to right now <laughs> but it's my own voice and i'm like oh okay so i try to be 
conscientious about that when I'm speaking. Yeah. So I don't, sound, most, I don't sound creepy. Who was the most supportive when you first started the show? Christian. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she, I mean, I played her daughter and she took it really seriously. Like she had a huge influence in the casting process mm -hmm. um, because she wanted to make sure that like she felt a connection with mm -hmm. her daughter. And she, I remember her bringing me to her dressing room and sitting me down and like breaking it down for me, like oh giving gosh. the whole rundown of Sierra's life and what happened to her and Bo and what happened to him and mm -hmm. the brother and all this stuff. And, and she told me, looked me in the eye and like, I saw this motherly like, aura emanating from her soul she was just like if you ever need anything you let me know and I was like oh my oh, god yes oh, I will yeah. let you know now yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love that yeah Sweet. um quick shout out uh me world 2 in our chat um says um Vicky she calls you Vicky Ooh. <laughs> she's like she's already on a, on a friendly basis there we friends girl right uh, <laughs> she says uh your talent as Sierra is stunning you make Lauren Bowles proud to play young Sierra oh yes yes thank you so much um every everyone has been that like so sweet so thrilled with with your uh performance and Aaron Valdez, I hope I pronounced that right, Aaron, in our chat room wants to know, do you know how to ride a motorcycle in real life? Oh, good ah. question. <laughs> no. I don't. Do you want that that, luckily, that to. hasn't come up. They're going to be like, okay, so we have a location shoot where you're going to be riding a motorcycle. <laughs> or if she did, I mean, she'd I would say no. That. Some mom doesn't find I out. I would love it if we had a location shoot where I actually mm -hmm. had to ride because, I like mean. Like, if we saw the scene with um, Sierra and Trip, like, in Trip, like, clinging for life. Like, on riding the back of the off yeah. into the sunset. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> <Something> like that. <laughs> Cute. No, I, I, I've ridden on the back of a Vespa before, and that's about as close <laughs> to motorcycle riding as I've gotten. Listen, it's you're something. doing better than me. Because I know. I've, the I've, only thing on two wheels nope. I've done is a bicycle. No. <laughs> and I'm lucky if I can do that. Ooh, look, no hands. <laughs> that's about it. Um, Girl down. Right? So uh, there's been a lot that's happened uh, with the show and, and your character. What have you enjoyed so far uh, about, like, your storyline and or a favorite scene. We all have a favorite scene, which I'm sure you know. But we'll get to that. But what <laughs> has been scene? your favorite? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, we'll oh, get to it. Oh, okay. what, what has been your, your favorite scene so far? Um, or the scene that sticks out the most to me is actually the scene between Sierra and Rafe after mm -hmm. she confronted him about the whole um, cheating on mom with Sammy thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How they were in the loft and like Sierra was just like, she. I remember she said something like, how could you be so gross? Like how could you be so <laughs> icky? Like I said that verbatim and I just, I love the scene, that scene because it brought out the like, because Sierra doesn't have a, a father figure other mm -hmm. than him and right. it brings out the little girl in Sierra, the protective like loving part of her that you don't really see so often because mm. she has this big wall up protecting her from everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the scene, I thought it was really beautiful. And um, Stuart, actually, the stage manager, I remember him coming up to me afterwards and he was like, you're doing this really great thing with your feet and you're connecting to the ground with, <laughs> with your feet when you act. And I was like, oh, that's that's a great compliment because I've never <laughs> heard that one before. To toe. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I just, I remember that, that entire scene leaving a really big impression on me. Well, the scene that left a very big impression on us. Tell and me. Claire's face. And Claire's face. Oh, that and Claire's one, of face. course. Yeah. We were like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we actually, uh, we talked about it briefly uh, at the Daytime Emmys. Mm -hmm. um, how it, it felt, like that, that scene for us, we were like, like I, I don't even think it was a slap. It almost felt like a no, punch. No, she had a punch. It was a punch. It was a punch. We were like, okay, we punching now. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we. Th it like, was very the, in character for Sierra, though. Yes. Yeah, like I would. Oh, yeah. Sierra's not a slapper. She's a. Puncher. She's, a puncher. She's, a, she's a puncher. She's a puncher. For sure. Uh, speaking of the the daytime Emmys, Days had such a phenomenal <gasps> win yeah. Yeah. as a daytime Emmys. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Um, you. What what was it like to like? Be a, like be a part of it, be a part of the show, and and winning uh, outstanding drama. It was incredible. Um, I wasn't expecting it. Like we were hoping for it, but mm -hmm. you know you can't go into such a thing expecting to win because right. you're going to be heartbroken yeah. if you mm -hmm. lose. Yeah. So it, we just you know came in with a gracious mm -hmm. heart and like we were like whoever wins it doesn't matter we're here mm -hmm. we're having a great time and they called our name at the end and I was like no way did they just yeah. say days of our lives no way is this my first Emmy and I'm going on stage to help the cast and the crew accept for yeah. outstanding drama series yeah. Yeah. of 2017 like 
I, oh my gosh, it was, if you, I don't know, um, it, I'm not sure if it was aired, but Olivia and I were like off in the corner, like throwing fist bumps <laughs> in the air, like screaming and jumping, like, woo, we did it! It was so energetic, it was nice. great. Well, uh, another experience that you had was uh, that Friday night before at the Creative mm -hmm. uh, uh, Emmys, you presented. I did. Um, but before we get to the presenting of it, let's talk about this look mm. that you had for the Creative Emmys. Yes! Slay. Hashtag slay. slay. Hashtag slay. I remember when, like, when I saw you, I was like, I literally clutched my pearls. I was like, uh -huh. oh, okay, yeah. yes. What was, the, what was the whole, like, inspiration and vibe of, of this look? Because it's so chic it's so slick it's so like that and then you have the angelina jolie leg yeah. mm -hmm. like what was the inspiration of that i mean i just i walked into the fitting and she the the showroom designer was like okay i have something it's called liquid metal mm -hmm. i said wait you have a dress with a name <laughs> <laughs> okay it's mine i want it like i don't even have to see it and i saw it and like on the hanger, it looked a little mm, like it because you yeah. know how sometimes clothes yeah. just look right. like weird. Yeah. And then I put it on and it like, I was like, oh my God, I feel amazing yeah. in yeah. this. It's not like the typical Emmys look. Like it's mm. a lot edgier and like yeah. it has That's the, exactly the it. turtleneck mm -hmm. and like, but it's just, it's me. It was so me. And yeah. like, I'm not, you know, the pink, puffy, like, mm -hmm ballerina type girl and mm -hmm. i really really liked the way this look made me feel i like yeah. the high fashion edgy mm -hmm. like couture aspect of it like i just i i felt so sexy and i just i i, I love that outfit it's a yeah. perfect combination of classic with the edge thank mm -hmm. you perfect thank you so much I was literally internally like, work. Oh, yes. yes. Thank Do you. It. You got Tony's official three snaps award on mm. the red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was living for that. And you presented that night. What was it like presenting? Were you nervous? Were you like... Oh, my God. I was so nervous. Yeah. I was so nervous because I had All no idea. People. Oh, my God. And the teleprompter had stopped working. No. For when of I course. Got of so course. Like, got to memorize more things. <laughs> 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 But um, it was great. I had an amazing co-presenter, Lamone. He presented with me. Yes. And having him up there with me r really took the edge off of mm -hmm. it because it wasn't like all eyes on all me. You. It was like all eyes on us, both yeah. of us. Look yeah. at him, look at me. He's taller than I am. Look at him. <laughs> He's so pretty. <laughs> He's so pretty. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, it was, it was nerve-wracking, but it was humbling and it was so honored like i was so honored to be on that stage is it your mm -hmm. first time presenting like that yeah yeah wow. yeah well, now you've done it and i know yeah. that's so, what i'm saying okay. now i've done it i got the jitters out like yeah. once i was up there i forgot about everything right. you know that was going on mm -hmm. um and i'm just i'm prepared for next time yeah. there you go yeah sign her up for more <laughs> um well aside from days you know you've also done uh some other work as well uh you're in a lifetime movie yes. which by the way like lifetime movies like on a sunday like mm -hmm. you can get saturday night and sunday. Yes. Yeah. yeah i was watching them before i came here see yeah <laughs> there you go there you go uh well you were in wrong crush yes and you played amelia yes i did um who and the whole premise of, of this is that um, there's a guy that likes you but you have the secret of killing your best friend. Well, so I right? didn't, yeah, I mean, it's, I didn't kill her. We, okay, Amelia is an ex-drug addict alcoholic. Oh, okay. And oh, you, she, it's, that's, that's, that's real edgy. That's yeah, right. that's real into it. And uh, she had done all this stuff with her best friend at mm -hmm. the time and um, they were inebriated and under the influence of alcohol and mm -hmm. They were driving and they got into a car accident. Mm. Amelia flew out of the window because her window was open, but they drove over a cliff and the best friend didn't make it, but Amelia uh, did. So uh, from that day, she vowed to get clean. Her life has never been the same. She's yeah. dealing with the guilt of, you know, it should have been me. Why wasn't mm. it me? Why was it her? Mm. Um, and yeah, and so I'm dealing with that. And then there's this boy that comes into town out of nowhere. And, and Amelia has a boyfriend already. Yeah. But there's this boy. Lifetime. Right? Lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> Lifetime will get, will get all mm. the drama up in that hour and a half. Mm -hmm. um, and there's this new boy that comes in town and he's like mysterious and edgy and he's mm -hmm. like the the bad boy that every girl wants. And mm -hmm. he's all over Amelia. He's mm -hmm. showing her all these signs, all this flirtatious energy going around. Yeah. And um, he they go on a run, she befriends him and he manipulates the fact that she has had this loss in her best friend by 
telling her that he went through the exact same thing with his brother. Like he's trying to gain mm. her trust. Is then it he, true or was it a lie? It was a lie. lie. Yeah, of course lie. it was never a lie. Trust, you, ne- you never trust oh the men's God. in the uh, Lifetime movies. That's right. no. bad. No. Actually, you can't trust the ladies in the Lifetime movies anymore. <laughs> you can't trust either. anyone in the Lifetime movies. <laughs> for real. If they always killing, stabbing, poisoning, mm-hmm. running after something. That's why. Running I can't. Muck. I can't be in a Lifetime movie. I wouldn't make it past credits. <laughs> I'll be the first one to go. Be the one that's mentioned throughout the Lifetime movie. Um, okay, go ahead. Sorry. Um, yeah, and so um, the the boy he he kisses her and she pushes him away and he like he just he causes trouble. He frames Amelia's boyfriend for doing steroids, which is untrue. Then he ends mm-hmm. up like cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Yeah, um, and and the boy who. So the boy, the parents of the best friend actually hired the boy to get dirt on Amelia because they're still mad about me uh, putting their daughter in a position to to to. So the parents they're blaming are, it on, on me. Yeah. yeah, they're blaming it on me, and they hired the boy. But the boy actually ended ended up falling in love with me, and he ends up and kills the parents to get to me. No. And then it's this whole thing, and then <laughs> <Why> yeah. <are> <laughs> She literally yelled out loud. And this is no! why Lifetime will suck you suck you in because there's all these twists and turns. I'm sitting here like just with all the popcorn like yeah. Yeah. give it to me. Yeah. Yep. Well, um part of the fun though is figuring out like in the beginning of a Lifetime movie cuz it's never the obvious like like no. who who's doing the bad stuff. It's never obvious. There's always a twist. And so right, my husband and I the fun part of it is is like watching the movie and then someone will come on screen and we're like Okay, they're doing something bad, and so right. in that movie it was the parents. You know, right, we're like right. they're up to something. Yeah, and you know that's part of the fun of it. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's our Saturday night now. <laughs> like that, we're an old married couple watching Lifetime I in bed at eleven. <laughs> well, Same that's uh, that's definitely a, a a difference from Sierra. Obviously, yeah. What definitely. What was it like uh, for you playing that character, and how do you prepare to play someone with like obviously so many layers and so many stuff yeah. in there. I mean, I just find it's it's easiest to dissect the situations that the character has been in and see if there's anything in my life that I could relate to that. Yeah. Um, just to, see, like, because cause I, I obviously, I haven't gone through a terrible drug addiction and I don't mm-hmm. know what that's like, but it's like, okay, well, how I, you know, something that I went through a couple years ago could be applicable to the situation. Mm -hmm, So let me like pull some of my emotions from that little secret box and like Mm -hmm. bring it forth in this, in this film. So it's just about drawing like your emotions and, and the things that you've felt in your life and, and bringing it through the character. Yeah. yeah. And the art of play pretend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the fun stuff. Was the life, the lifetime movie was before days. Yes. Yes. Okay. How did you feel about like, because it was a, you did Modern Family first. That mm-hmm. was like your first on screen. Was the movie second? Um, uh, yes. And I was actually on two Lifetime films. Okay. Because um, I feel like I remember you on one, but it, there was a sports involved. Yeah, that's the wrong crush. Oh, okay. So I'm also mm-hmm. a track star. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's behind all, right. all this. I'm yeah. a track star, Got and it. that's okay. that's where the steroids get involved because the boyfriend okay. also runs track with me. I don't know, something like that. Okay. <laughs> it's very crazy. <laughs> you should go watch the movie. <laughs> but, uh, but like, the, like, trust like, me, they'll replay like, it. Like, do, doing a, they do. They yeah. replay it like, like anytime. But doing the film, do you feel feel like that was like good training or good? Were you nervous about that? Because that's kind of a big undertaking. Yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't nervous. I was just excited because mm-hmm. acting is something that I. I've always wanted to do and it's it's always been a fun leisurely activity of mm-hmm. mine it was never something that I considered <clears throat> like work or right. something that I should be nervous about mm-hmm. um, so the atmosphere of it wasn't as high-end as the the modern family mm-hmm. um, so that's why I, I approached it with more of a relaxed attitude Nice. Yeah, which is why you won the pageant yeah <laughs> like, you know, but there's something to be said about going into something with just Let's just have fun just like, with okay, this. Have yeah. fun. I'm gonna work hard, but yeah. yeah, and that's what I've noticed in life is like that's when things go the best is mm-hmm. when you don't care and you don't put so yeah. much pressure on yourself. Yeah, yeah. It just be yourself, <laughs> be in the moment. Be in the moment. <laughs> that's what yeah. you do. It, yeah. <laughs> it takes that, practice. That, that, so it doesn't come t- naturally. You gotta yeah. be advice. conscious. Yeah. yeah. Is there is there a TV show out now that you would love to be on and you've like already created your character for the show and like your storyline and everything? <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Nah, uh, mm. R- uh, Riverdale would be really oh. fun. Oh, yeah. Really, really, really fun. It'd be so good. It's just because I auditioned for um, Veronica before, but I, I was wasn't... just gonna say. Yeah, when you said you Riverdale, I was like, oh my god, you're so, so Veronica. Yeah. yeah, I auditioned twice, and uh, I wasn't. I'm not Latina, and the character had to, to be mm-hmm. Latina, so that's why they obviously, rightfully so, didn't go with me. Mm-hmm. But like. Um, you know, I, 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 I could be some. I could be Archie's sister, like yeah. br- bring her in, or um, w- uh, Jughead's sister. She's yep. she's on the yeah. Mm-hmm. What's her name? Uh, I, don't, I forget. I, forget. <laughs> I haven't seen the second season yet, but yeah, I feel like that show would be really, really fun to be on. Yeah, I, I always like asking that question because you know, y'all know me. I've already written myself into days and have my character <laughs> storyline and everything song. like that. Yeah, I'm trying to get that. <laughs> What's your character name? Uh, you, we never gave him. I don't a think name. he has a name. <gasps> he doesn't See, have a name. There's a character. I don't know if she's been on since you've been on Maxine. Uh-uh. She's a hospital. Um, like, she was a hospital she was a hi- nurse. She was a hospital nurse. Yeah, and like she she was a kind of like um, what do you call it? Not a main character, but like a supporting character, right? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so he was going to come on as Maxine's son, mm-hmm. but we oh. never we never came up with a name for him. I never guess that came up be... with a name, but he was going to come in and be fabulous. Right? Maximilian, there you go. Like, yeah. Work it, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll we were trying to make to that happen. He was gonna have a mad love affair with Theo. <laughs> <laughs> now y'all came up with that. Ooh. Y'all came up. <laughs> That's <laughs> some drama in Sierra. <laughs> okay, so listen. <laughs> You give a guy a compliment one time. I gave Kyla Pettis a compliment one time on a shirtless scene, and all of a sudden, I'm just attached to Kyler. Oh, man. I appreciate his work. <laughs> his body, his body of work. <laughs> his body of work. I appreciate his work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, of work, now the uh, Fox City, which yes. is uh, what you we were talking before we started, mm-hmm. that was like the first on screen thing that you ever yeah, did. It's the very first project. But I it's ever like made. the project that's uh, about to come out after. Yeah, <laughs> everything it comes else. out last. I don't even know. They still haven't given me a definitive date. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing October of this year um, because I did ADR for the project in February. So. Mm-hmm. That means it should be coming out, but don't quote me on that yeah. because they didn't even tell me, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so but tell us about your character in in that film. Yeah, um, this is really different from anything that anyone's ever seen because I play a super villain. Mm-hmm. I'm not, not not like superpowers or anything like that. I'm right. just like a like a super villain. Mm-hmm. Like I'm very villainous. Um, and it's that's not a spoiler because you find out within the first five minutes of the film that, yeah. that I'm evil. Mm-hmm. Do you like playing like a, a character with an edge like that? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. Because I mean, so Sierra, Sierra's like you know at, at her heart good. Oh, she just yeah. has she a, she's a little yeah, she badass is. to her. But she's to play like a villain, yeah. I've, I've heard actors say that they love playing like the villainous characters oh, it's my more. Favorite. Yeah, it's my they're, favorite. they're more fun. Yeah, they're, it's so fun because you really get to lose yourself and like go crazy and push the limits mm-hmm. and see how far you and can go. And not get arrested for it. And not get arrested for it. Yeah, you can be bad. No, no oh ramifications. You can yeah. be praised for it, you know? Yeah, like I remember I completely lost it. We were filming the scene where I had to break down a wall um, with an axe. And of course, we had a stunt double with yeah. um, the real axe, and I had the foam axe. And so they had recorded the stunt double making the initial hole in the wall, mm-hmm. and then they plugged me in with the foam axe. And they were like, okay, you're not going to do any damage. Make it look like you're going to do damage. And I was like, okay, okay. fine. <laughs> So I take the axe, I start going at it, and they, they're just rolling, I don't hear cut for a minute, I'm just going at it, I'm like, ah, I'm losing it, I have no idea what's going on. And I had made the hole four times bigger ha! with the foam axe. <laughs> yes. I wasn't even supposed to do any damage, like they were all, and I when I'm telling, they yelled cut, and I look around the room and everyone's like, <laughs> so nobody like, messed what? with you after that. I, yeah. I was yeah. gonna say you, you established your uh, yeah. hierarchy there. The yeah. sun double was like, "Great, you did my job for me." Like, right. okay, and you got some aggression out that day. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. I lost myself. That's a in year it. of therapy. You didn't have to. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. So, but besides acting, you know, what what else? is in your world what else does victoria enjoy besides that because we talked about acting and and all that but what else would you would we be surprised that you're into um i mean i've always been a creative kid um i've always loved to sing and dance like that's always been um right up there with acting for me i just never considered making it a career because i don't know acting was always just number one the forefront (laughs) it's what i wanted and that's it like i didn't even have you know how everyone has like 
their backup plans. Yeah. Like, right. oh, well, I just, I never had one. Yeah. Right. Like, I was like, mm, there's mm. no backup plan because I'm going to do this until yeah. I get it. And if I don't, then I'm going to die trying and I'm mm-hmm. going to have a good time doing it. Like, <laughs> right, right. Um, but... Do you think you'll dabble in it a little more now and maybe like have yeah. like a side thing? Yeah, I mean, I've been writing some music, um, rapping and singing, um, which is really, really fun. I I never thought that I could rap, and I tried it, and it, it didn't sound terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm also really into kickboxing. That's something that I've taken up recently. Ooh, and, yeah. and that's also a great way to get out aggression. aggression. Mm. Um, that way you don't make holes in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Got it. Got um, it. Like, I've tried yoga, I've tried meditation, and that stuff doesn't, like, it makes me angrier if anything like i'm sitting there and i'm like mm, in order to truly get a, in order to truly get aggression out you need to be, be aggressive. aggressive be be yeah. aggressive, aggressive. Yeah. yes yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i'm 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 just going to pitch this and see if it comes into fruition but i think that you and olivia should do something together you know <laughs> I've, I've I'm talked just to gonna, her. I'm just, I'm just, Olivia girl, if you watch it. Olivia girl. I'm just going to throw that out there. Like I told you. You can strum the guitar, <laughs> have uh, Victoria, you know, do a couple of bars uh-huh. and stuff, and like, boom, mm-hmm. go. I've, I've talked to her about um, covering Havana once. Cause, oh, uh, that'd be. Yeah, because we were both really into that song. We were both singing it on set, and we had that like bonding moment where mm-hmm. we were like, Havana. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so we considered it, but it never happened. Um, yeah. yeah, I would love to do that. My boyfriend is actually, um, he's a music producer, and he's remixing one of her singles right now, Just mm-hmm. My Type. It just came oh, out. We, we and just, just played that. Played it. It's yeah, yeah. so good. So good. Yeah. So, so good. good. Yeah. Oh, we love it. But um, he, and he was working on that right before I left, too. Yeah. So um, that's going to be happening. I mean, this is like yes. all aligning the, the aligning. boyfriend yes. who's the producer, mm-hmm. the friend who's the singer, mm-hmm. the one who like acting as the forefront but thinking about singing. I mean, this world is If you together. add mm-hmm. some dastardly deeds by somebody, this could be a lifetime movie. <laughs> There I'm you always go. thinking. There you this go. Could be life but let's hope just throw like, in some. Yeah. Let's hope everyone stays alive, though. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, yeah. I have to think about that for a second. And, and um, yeah, we're staying alive. <laughs> staying alive. Staying <laughs> alive. That's a song too. Yeah. Um, well, uh, we're unfortunately out of time. Right. Already. That went by so quick. It goes so quick. Yeah. I know. But uh, before we go, I just want to reiterate again um, from us and from the fans, the fans, you are doing such an amazing Phenomenal. job on Thank the you show. So much. And we cannot wait to see what Sierra is about to do, what's going to happen with mm-hmm. her, the new face of Bella, mm-hmm. and like, you know, her relationship with Trip. Like, yeah. we are just super excited that yeah. you are on board. So, thank you. congratulations thank you so much. and thank you for doing such amazing work. Thank you so much. That thank means you. so much. Yay. Yay. <laughs> um, and before we head out, let's uh, do our social media plugs. So, Michael Mattis. Michael Mattis. Mattis, you can find me on Twitter at MLMattis1 and on Instagram, MLMattis. Tammy. And you can find me on Twitter at Tammy Govea and Insta and Facebook at Tammy Govea Official. And Victoria. Official. You can find me on all platforms at Victoria Conifal. Hey, and you can find me on all platforms at Lounging with Tony. Mm-hmm. And of course, you can follow <laughs> our wonderful recap show, uh, Dish and Days, on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. On Facebook and Instagram, we are Dish and Days. And on Twitter, we are underscore Dish and Days, the at is implied. <laughs> Thank you guys Tammy. so much for tuning in. And Victoria, thank you so much thank for joining you so us. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you guys for tuning in. And we'll Thanks, see you guys. next Sunday for another full recap of NBC's number one hit, hit. soap opera, Days, Days of, of Our, our Lives. lives. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 